Hello beautiful Pisces. Welcome to my channel Miss Reemy Healings. My name is Reem. Welcome into your spiritual growth reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Pisces. We're going to focus on your spiritual growth, your healing, guidance, and any assistance that you need at this time to help guide you, provide you with any insight and clarity that you need. And then we'll do a separate spread focused on your soul to soul connections your romantic love thank you guardian angels ancestors for your presence thank you for your guidance for pisces sun moon rising and venus this is the sufi wisdom oracle deck you have here transformation let love transform you forever self-love the self-love journey has transformed you i'm hearing transfiguration I'm hearing transfiguration why am I what's the difference between transformation and transfiguration I feel like there's something, I don't know, maybe that's going to be different for all of you. I feel like I feel like there's a break. I don't know why I'm feeling like that. Hold on. I feel like there's a break, a breaking free breaking free from attachments breaking free from things there's a break and then your transformation your transfiguration is concluding itself because you've broken away from something that has been attached to you toxic thoughts patterns patterns you're breaking away from patterns cycles that just are no longer needed in your life it's been a long time coming because they're saying the transformation the transfiguration is concluded because of the breaking free you have your deal with the unexpected Treat the unforeseen as a divine offering. See, after your transformation, or sorry, because your transformation is concluded, your transfiguration, it's as, it's as if you are a new person. So you are going to be dealing with a new cycle, with a new chapter, because you've concluded this part of your transformation. And after that, it's unexpected it's it's a new world it's a new you it's a new energy it's a new okay what's next so this unexpected energy that you're going to be experiencing and dealing with is a divine offering I'm seeing a lot of pearls so you could be wearing a lot of pearls I'm also seeing a great grandmother or a grandmother um, someone someone who's very wise come through and she is wearing pearls so I don't know if pearls were handed down to you I just got the chills um, they're present here at this time they're really really beautiful um, <laughs> I think um, someone got passed down pearls they're helping you through this journey You know when someone writes a book and they get to the end of the book it's the conclusion of that story this is your conclusion this is your you're concluding your transformation <laughs> salvation number 17 which is number eight this is extremely abundant energy this is green Tara Look at this beauty, look at this joy depicted on this goddess's face. Salvation. <laughs> I love that. OK, 
Okay. Where am I guided? Where am I guided? I'm guided to the Wild Unknown Tarot because we have here deal with the unexpected. So I feel this beautiful, unexpected, unknown energy that I kind of want to get into here with you. So let's go to the Wild Unknown Tarot and see. Okay, for beautiful Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oh, oh, judgment as your overall energy. Hello, hello you. Look at you. Transformation, your transfiguration is complete. This is you concluding. This is you breaking free from this. Remember how I said that? This is this beautiful wings like energy, this beautiful phoenix rising here, rising. It's like you're heeding the call that it's time to break free from whatever little residue of things that are holding you back. Let it go. As soon as you do, your transformation of this particular cycle concludes itself so that you can go into the next and that's where you're going to be experiencing unexpected and beautiful things oh my gosh i'm getting chills <laughs> i'm getting chills this is you also judgment making a decision to break free this is you deciding that your higher self deciding that your spirit body your spirit self your intuition is saying, I have to, I have to break free. I have to rise. And I was, yeah, I don't want to repeat myself, <laughs> but look at all of these birds. Could be seeing a lot of birds. Okay, birds are messengers. Someone's ancestor came through, great grandmother, grandmother, showing um, herself wearing pearls. So they could be, um, Spirits could be coming through to you, showing you messages, signs, using birds as carriers of mess messages, messengers. All right, let's get into it. Let's get all your cards out and we'll channel the energy. Thank you for Pisces, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Father of Cups, Father of Swords, Six of Cups, The Lovers, <laughs> this is not a romantic love reading, this is a spiritual growth reading, but if any messages come out that we need to talk about regarding love, we will, but I always do a separate romantic love reading, because here we focus on you, Five of Cups. Okay, someone is sad over the past. Six of Wands. Again, more breaking free energy coming out of the cocoon, coming out of the shadows, coming out of this journey and into the light. But I see coming out of the darkness and into the light. But what's so important, guys, is that we both have light and dark within us. It's important to balance these two, light and dark. You can't be all light. There's always dark. It's about balancing these two, okay? These are the polarities. Your dark makes you who you are just as much as the light does. I feel like a lot of you are learning these important lessons, embracing what you have gone through, there is some sadness over the past, five of cups energy, six of cups energy, a lot of nostalgia, a lot of sadness um, looking into the past. So this is where I was saying that some of you need to break free, break free from this energy. You can still remember, you, you'll always have your memories. 
but always having a emotion tied to that past, feeling regrets, doubts, um, feeling like you, like the what ifs, the should haves, the could haves, that type of energy is sitting here with the five of cups. That's what's holding you back from breaking free. Okay. You have here four swords, healing energy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Seven, seven of cups. You have here the Ace of Swords. You have two Aces in a row. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. Three of Pentacles. You're on top of the mountain. You're on top of the mountain. Four of Wands. Okay, your, your stability is so important to you. Your foundation, your security, your um, st structure. Okay, structure is so important here for you. Balance. Um, like I said, light and dark. You have to balance these two. Just like when you build a house, when you build a home, you have to have all of the pillars there the foundation to build the structure, to continue to build. Your foundation is so important. Um, okay, so I feel like for some of you, there is some sadness over the past and I got to talk about it because it's coming through here and I don't always read reversals, but you have the two of cups in reverse. With the five of cups, six of cups, the lovers, father of cups and father of swords energy here. I feel like there was a relationship in your past that didn't work out, okay? And I feel like maybe some of you um, are, you still think about it. You still think about it. I feel like some of you wonder, what if? What if this person was my person? What if this person did more? What if I did more? What if we went down this path instead of this one? Maybe things would have been different. I feel all of these frustrations and thoughts kind of appear here with the Five of Cups energy. And it's right beside the lovers in the Six of Cups. Okay. Um, I feel like, you know, it's okay to think like that for a limited time because you, you need to think about those things. It's the normal process of grieving. It's the normal process of going through loss of heartbreak, of, you know, feeling the pain, because once you feel it, that's how you can heal it, right? And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing now, or that you will be doing. We're all on different timelines. So I definitely feel like you are healing through this. You're healing, and I feel like you're healing through confusion. There's this, this period of time for you may be very confusing. There could be a lot of things going on. Again, a lot of, you know, um, a lot of wonder, wondering, maybe fantasizing, dreaming of, you know, what if things were different? But I feel like you're going to gain that clarity. You're going to gain this perspective, this enlightenment, this truth about why something didn't work out the way that it did. Usually when things don't work out the way that we want them to, it's because it was just simply not meant to be. And it's hard to hear that. And I'm sorry, but... If it wasn't meant to be, then that just means that there's something more for you, that there's something better, that there's something unexpected, that there's something unknown, right? 
I feel like this is what you're gaining clarity about. I know we're we're talking about your spiritual growth, but this is part this is part of your growth. This is you growing. These see people are put on our path to help us grow. And I feel like that's exactly what you are learning here, especially with the daughter of wands. This is what you are learning, creating, knitting. I see someone knitting, weaving. I feel like you're weaving your way through this confusion. You're making more sense of things. Um, does, for some of you, if it's not a relationship, it could be just people in your life that have place themselves on your path and they're just no longer there anymore. Some people come for a limited time only in our path so that we can learn, so that we can see ourselves in them. And it projects what we give out and we could see it in that person so that we can recognize the things within us that need to be transmuted, healed, released. And I feel like that's exactly what this person or people have been telling you, that this is, this is your journey. You have here the Ace of Cups right after the Ace of Swords. And here with the Transformation, Transfiguration card, you have Let Love Transform You Forever. And this is this beautiful Ace of Cups energy of love transforming you. Please don't have any regrets because you loved the way that you did and there's no shame in that. Do you understand that? There's no shame in the way that you have loved this person or others. You loved because that's you and that's the love that you have here that you project out and I can assure you that what you give out, you get back. And the love that you have given others, it's time to give to yourself, this Ace of Cups, this self-love energy, because this love is what's going to transform you. It's what has been transforming you. You may not even have known that love was transforming you this entire time. Perhaps you just perceived it as, it's just heartbreak, it's pain. I've loved these people, these friends, this person, they didn't love me back. But little did you know that love was transforming you all along. And that is why it's time for you to rise, to decide here and now, tomorrow, in a week, take your time, whatever works for you, breaking away from this energy understanding this lesson as soon as you break free from this attachment from these attachments excuse me your transformation concludes itself and you move on to the next you move on to this beautiful experience of unexpected things your salvation building your foundation, your security, reaching the top of the mountain. And you're not alone. You have spirit guides. <laughs> you have the angels. You have your ancestors. You have your friends that are still here today. You have your family, whoever you have in your life today. See the connections. You're always connected. You'll reach the top of the mountain and you are not doing it alone. It may feel like that, but you're not. This night, this night of swords energy is you swift, moving in haste. It's like I have squandered for too long. I have been in this energy for too long. 
I need to go, I need to move, I need to rise, I need to fly, I need to break free, I got to do this now. It's this energy of, okay, I'm just letting it go. It's It happens that quick, that quick. <laughs> Pisces, the way you love is so beautiful. It is exactly what is transforming you. And I feel like I'm going to cry because I can feel you just oh. oh man I can feel you guys um I love this reading for you because this is so big this is so so big so big and um I, I mean I just oh. I think I've said everything that I needed to say because they're not channeling me anything. I'm just feeling all these emotions now. Um, so I'm going to just take a minute and I'm going to come back and do your romantic love reading. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I love you guys so, so, so very much. Thank you for allowing me to read for you. I'll see you over in your romantic love reading. <laughs>